does it feel to you know have money to solve your problem? Ah, like, oh, are you asking? You a temple <laughs> <money. Yes. laughs> Let me tell you the truth. I don't want to solve my problems again. <laughs> Somebody should come and solve it for me. <laughs> On some days, I don't want to spend my money. In fact, recently, I'm tired of spending my money. <laughs> It's not sweet, they lie. They lie to me. <laughs> Let me tell you how it feels. It feels like pain. Tell it. Toto. Get somebody to pay your bills, okay? Her money, her phone. Did I hear you say that it is not right for a woman to earn more than her partner? Really? We are going to find out. Welcome to her money, her power conversation with the queens of Crips TV. My name is Ifnaya Ibenwe, and today we are going to be chatting with eight amazing and talented women in the media space. And we're going to find out what economic power means to them and what they are doing to grab this power. We're also going to be finding out some of their personal stories and experiences when it comes to some of the traditional misconceptions about women and money. Has, has anyone watched Game of Thrones? Game of, Game of Thrones, anyone? So there's this particular clip of Game of Thrones that trended on TikTok sometime, I think two years ago. Now we just fall forward. Exactly. So there is a man that was saying something like, oh, knowledge is power. Then the woman was like, seize him, cut his throat. Power is power. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? Yeah. It's really trended on TikTok. And, you know, having said that, and, you know, that whole line, it made a lot of sense. So having said that, what does economic power mean to us as women? What are we doing to actually gain this power? Let's start with much. I would say in some way we're breaking boundaries. So we're getting into those spaces that people said women could not get into. And we're and we are being we're able to we're getting access to the amount of money that people said that women could not have access to. Back in the days, we, men are the only ones that used to have financial power, right? Even in economy, in, even in the in economy at large. But now, women also have that power. And adding to what we as women can do to actually gain this um, economic power, it starts by learning a skill, right? So you see, most times women feel uh, all they can achieve in life is just by oh, getting married and um, having children and starting a family. But as a woman, actually, you can be in a position of influence to even um, empower more, not just women, but also men as well. So um, generally, as women, I believe we should always up our game in terms of um, skill set. And I actually love the fact that us here, beautiful women like us, we, we are in positions that years back is men that have been known to have these um, professions like being video, being a video editor, a photographer, a videographer. Women wouldn't have dared to even venture into this profession years back. But I actually love the fact that women are stepping up and taking the boundaries and achieving a lot. So women, economic power is just you as a woman being influential and then making an impact to the life of others. Yeah, I totally agree with you. You know, talking about influence, talking about things that happened in the olden days, back in the days, you would, you would agree with me that there are a lot of traditional misconceptions that we are very much, you know, heavy many years ago, but they're no longer so much like that. I, I know we've, we've heard some, they will say, oh, a woman's place in the kitchen, a woman should not make so much money, a woman, if you are single, you're not supposed to have so much money. Or you should hide your money. You should hide it, mm. yeah, that if you have so much money, men are going to be avoiding you or they'll be coming to you because of money. I know we've heard a lot, right? So. We might want to like share a bit of it and what are those misconceptions that when you hear it, you feel like slapping that person. Like when you hear it, <laughs> it's a complete red flag for you, right? So who, who is going to go first? Debbie. Oh, Debbie. I think the um, most popular one is like, as a woman, you're not supposed to go to school. It was just the men that were supposed to go to school. You should learn to be in the kitchen, to sweep, to cook, to clean, all those things. Like that was like one of the popular um, I agree with you. I agree with you. Miss Judith is looking at me like she has something to tell us. So, Miss Judith, okay, tell us. So, I'm surprised, like, people don't have they are, the conceptions are many, are but let me start with one. A lot of women actually even they are breadwinners in their home, but because of that, um, oh, we have to not be so much above the man. Like, you don't need to show that the impact, oh, this is the impact you're making in your family. So those are one of the misconceptions as well. Um, there are so many other ones, but I think I'll allow us to share more. I think another thing that you can do, first starting from your heart. 
somebody was like, you stay there, you like, I said, yes, I don't know, I'm like, what do you do with your money? Because I know I take single with your parents, I said, like, you just try. Yeah. I was trying to explain to this person, I pay my bills, my rent, my, like, everything from A to Z that I pay for. He was finding it so difficult because I'm saying, we said our money as ladies is just for shopping. And Can, you imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine? That's my parents are the one. Paying my bills, at least I go to a mass house and the man will take over the mass house. You are still saying, you are still saying, this one you are still saying, kind of far. As a woman that makes her own money, you guys know that they see single men that live alone as hoes. Yeah. yeah. I'm conversing with people and I'm like, I think I should get a place of my own. I would like to see. First, I was like, hmm. you don't know, sir, that your family house is protecting you like why do i have to feel threatened living alone as because i'm a woman right what if the place has security what if i don't you don't you know you defend yourself somehow Maybe. then the person is like apart from the physical protection it protects people from seeing you as a whore and i'm like i don't understand the whole scenario how did i move from being a single lady that is making her way to being a whore because I live alone. That's let me, that let me is just that. when I was still living with my parents, a guy came visiting, everybody I played with was my friend. Because I'm sitting in my parents' house. To them, I can't do anything. Mm-hmm. Like I can't miss the in my family house. But now just a casual friend coming to stay and go to the next party. He said, Well, you like, is it that quick? Hey, I like Happen in a guy's place, like I'm not saying, that's that's like, they don't they be like this guy he just, to themselves, they're just like this guy is just living, you know, he's, he's living up life, life, he's living a way one life, or something like that. Him. But you will not, you will not hear them try to confront him or advise him because, well, you guys are even still going for like, have you guys not heard of like, okay, as a woman, you cannot be a career woman because you won't get married. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, want yeah. like managing career. Yeah, and they yes, there is that feeling so. that oh, a woman that is successful has already compromised her marriage mm-hmm. or her family. She for yeah, some also, sense. Mm-hmm. And, like no woman attains any or achieves anything with hard work. Mm-hmm. It's either she a man dies. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. I have that yeah. experience. Yeah. Like oh, that, one, that one is like the most annoying. I don't it's think, always a man. I think another one that I don't know is the fact that they always say women are not as goal driven as men. We are not very um very financially driven. driven. Just because we're emotional. We're emotional. We're yeah, emotional and we're and just not taking logical. care of it. Yes, we want to treat it like a princess. You know? But if, if we are not goal driven, <laughs> if we are not goal driven or financially driven, why are we all here, right? Why do we have a career? We want to make ourselves legible for money. <laughs> <laughs> There's also this part where if you don't leave your parents' house, then there are higher chances of you getting married quicker. They're like, you'll find your father's house. So, so, you so, so basically, the end point for a woman is just to get, get married. married. Yes. So, like, anything that is compromising that is just so bad for you. If you don't get married, that means you're, you're you not wasted your life. I think you don't have all the money in this world, but you don't have another man's name yeah. attached to your name. Yeah. You've not started. I think ways. I think why it looks like women have this small pressure is because of the biological clock thing. Yes. I think that's why, you know, I think the idea started off good with the intention that this will help you, yeah. right? But age. some people decided that no, it has to be like this. It has to be at this point. 
It's supposed to help you. It's just like somebody wants to advise you. A person is coming off as sarcastic or rude or stuff. You will not listen to that advice. It's, it's, it's pretty annoying. But when you talk to the person and be like, you know, understand where I'm going to. Don't try to use your young age. Because let's be honest, childbirth and the rest of them, we are, it's like we are anti on a woman's body. It's, 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 a, it's a natural wear and tear, right? So you notice that most times our grannies usually complain of waist pain and the rest of them. I don't know if it's from backing the babies or or carrying them in front. You know, like I don't, I I, don't, I can't tell right now because I've never looked into it. But it's like a thing. So I think that I whole ideology came from a good sense of your biological clock. So it's not like women are staying for them to be chosen and picked by the men because. All these things of do this so you get married, do that so you get married. Nobody tells men to do this so they get married. They just tell you once it's time, go and get married. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. There's no preparation from like as you're yes. growing. Oh, do this. If not, you'll not find a wife. I don't think mm-hmm. I've ever heard that before. If you like, be wayward. You'll find a wife because you're the one going to pick like, a wife. With or without the women. They'll find a wife. Men, no. like, there are lots of misconceptions that we can't exhaust it. Even if you talk from that to tomorrow, we can't exhaust it. But there are lots of things, right? And there's this, there's this saying, I don't know if you've heard it, that women, I think it's really mentioned something like that, that women are silent breadwinners in their homes. Have, have they heard it? Yes. yes. Do they we agree? How, how true is, is it? Silent? I think they are silent because um, they want to protect their man's ego or reputation. And I, I don't really have an issue with that. Where I have an issue is if the man you are protecting his ego <laughs> is just, <laughs> you know, it's just out of it. But I feel like that's a common thing. Right. Most it's, it's, it's women, it's a very common thing. No matter how rich your husband may be, at some certain point, business is to crash. Your working class that ends salary. At some point, they, they delay salary. And your wife comes in place. So I think it's a normal thing in every family. So can you marry a man that you're richer than? Definitely. I can marry a man. Sure, but I'm to be richer than my husband. Good. Are you sure I should be in this room? <laughs> so, since much has started, so how would you feel if you are earning more than your partner or if you are richer than your partner? Let's start with it now. Okay, to start with, there's nothing to feel about it. Wow. There's this saying that happens that when a man gets married, he leaves his father's house. Yes, mm-hmm. that's true. Or a woman, whether married or not, yeah, your, you your family, your identity is still your family. They are the one catching for them. Are you telling me, okay, because I'm any way more than you, I should quit my job? Okay, I'm not any for you. I'm earning, I'm struggling, I'm doing all these things to take care of people that took care of me, to take care of my younger ones and all these things. So I'm not going to quit my job because he said so. If I'm going to quit my job, okay, let's say I'm quitting my job because all the old people that have been struggling to help and all these things, yes, I've already made it. There's nothing I'm struggling for in to make. And I can just relax and be getting... Because if I quit, it's your money things. enough for two of us. That's the thing. See, that's the funny part of it. We manage. <laughs> <laughs> they will be expecting you to quit your job. Okay, let's say you're earning like a million and then the guy is earning like 500 k And then the house people are living in, let's say the rent a year is around 3 to 4 m. And the guy is telling you to quit. So you are going to pay the house rent, pay the bills, cut out for the children. Your own family is still there. If you are the caring type that definitely takes care of your family. But now the issue comes in when the man doesn't even care about your own family. Red flag. <laughs> so if you are not doing anything, what's not the essence of your people taking care of your things while you're growing up, struggling for your bits of career and all these things to make it? Mm. I have, like, I think that, every lady should have that mindset. So, oh, I'm making it for myself. I'm making it for the people I need to take care of. I'm doing it for my parents. I don't expect my parents at their old age if they call me, oh, I need to sell out and I'll come here and meet my husband. I need, like, it's crazy to me. See what I'm saying? The goal is to keep going higher and higher. And my sister, sister does as not high as I can get. That is not for you. That is already going higher. <laughs>
there is that conception a lot of ladies have about oh, no, I just want to be the baby girl and like, I don't have strength to get any skill yeah, set. You I have to you have to have a good self. Like some people's goal is just please I just want to get married. Find one rich man, let him take good. care of me. So have you even forgot it's not even just about making money. What about having an impact like personally what's your goal in love? What what are the achievements you want to even set for yourself as a lady? The base of a relationship first shouldn't be money. Wow. That aside. But if that was the situation, I don't think that is a problem if he still fulfills his role as my partner, like taking care of me and the children and then providing like basic needs that we need. That will just be a plus because I can support at the end and so I don't think that should be a problem, you know. Yes, definitely. It shouldn't be a problem because at the end of the day marriage is a partnership. Right, you are able to support your husband. I mean, any husband that you are supporting so much is going to be proud of you. Like when she, when he goes out to be like, this is my wife. Like yeah. you'll be able to boast about you, and I think that is something. So, so that's actually all. have problems. Okay, yes, I'm <laughs> actually more than you. This is true. Not all. You cannot deny the fact that they don't want you to help. They feel bad when you help. They feel like they are not bad. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Some people, even if you're any more than them. They still do the basic things that they're supposed to do, like taking care of you, like doing this. You can only even support. That's mm-hmm. even like a plus. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, I, I can take um, certain because some men like their ego is involved, right? And then some people even want you to help, even as much as you know that you are any more than them and all of that. So it's that for you as a partner or as a wife to like, okay, it's like, oh, I want to take up this. I want to take up this. Like, so it's just an advantage. I don't think it's a disadvantage. Yes. Um, we should come to a point where we have to admit that we are partners for a reason. We are working together, not as a separate mm, entity. Yes. Yeah. So if it's my money, it's his money, yes. mm. and not my money. Mm. So we should get that into our head and work with that mindset. You know, there's a popular saying that women's money is their money, mm. but a man's money is our money. money. <laughs> is our money. money. It's actually money. not supposed to be. It's so supposed to be. Why? Because the key. Was <laughs> because there. you have man. The key. <laughs> because the key was there is the woman is there to be the support, support. system. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so so I think we, we need to change that. It should be our money. Mm. It's not it should not be my money. I think if we well, do that way, it's going to be a better I think I think <laughs> we are trying to make a decision for the general like generally for mm. people. That's yeah. not how, that's not how life works. Yeah. Right? It's what works for you in your relationship. Mm. So if in your relationship your man feels threatened with your success then apparently that's not where you're supposed to be but if you're okay with him feeling threatened that you want to step down for him that should totally be your way i feel like we shouldn't relationship is not it's not it a like, yes, so, or b yeah, or this is it's like what works for but us yeah. right we are pushing for feminism although some people are getting the wrong I, I, ideas yeah, right, right yeah. we're pushing for feminism and saying women should not be relegated to the background women should not be this women should not be that but we cannot do that and we are not willing to take up our roles as well mm-hmm. right how we are built biologically a woman tends to show more care i don't say that a woman is only the person that should show care she tends to show more care right the way we are built biologically the woman is the one that takes in right and the man gives out so we all have that role that cannot be changed. So if you are with a man that understands what role cannot be changed and where he can come in and you understand where you can come in, there's really no need for this, um, I am higher than you mm-hmm. and you are lower than me, mm-hmm. right? Because if yeah. we are going to go by the scripture, we came out from the side, yeah. not from or under, under for so our, or our goal. problem, Seth, if you're even noticing who is higher. The yeah. question is, if you're realizing, like, if it starts coming to your head that, oh, that's when maybe, in real life, maybe when you fall in love now, it won't matter to you. It won't matter. You won't matter. You won't matter. You won't matter. No, but seriously, I know somebody that, once her salary comes in, to her husband. Wow, wow. Because Ghost. no, she feels she feels comfortable. With Is that person Miss J? No. I beg go. Please, oh. if it's Miss J, anyway, if she's comfortable, <laughs> <laughs> no, just, 
if she's comfortable with it, if she likes it, if she's at peace with it, it shouldn't be a problem. Because this woman, this person I'm telling you, it doesn't bother her. In fact, she talks about it happily. So who am I to say, you know, there's a way to be taking care of you. You don't have needs you again. You don't have needs. You just be saying, Jamie, you want your salary. She's saying, <laughs> she's just okay with it. It's like, right, but some women are comfortable with, they'll be like, babe, I don't, now nah, with this thing where I get, just put a whole money for your hand. I will hold this one or take the whole of them. I will use this one to do this or do that. They don't bother. So let's not bring all these social constructs and come and be destroying mm-hmm. homes. Yeah. And mm-hmm. relationships, you know, yeah, they're lovers, we love us, and you know, relationship so let's just yeah. let them be. Yeah. Let the lovers win. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let them be. Talking about gender roles, should gender roles, like you said, women have their gender roles traditionally, biologically, and men have theirs. And now, as women, should those gender roles limit us from achieving our dreams? You know, about that gender thing, I think what we miss is paying attention to ourselves our body we already know that women we already we always have this hormonal thing is going on right how about we start paying attention to how our body functions when do you function better how do you function better like this is of i do this maybe you see okay for instance now maybe she's in a period where she feels more happy and she feels energetic to do things and i'm in that period where i don't feel like doing much and I want to force myself to be like, yeah, what I can do is take myself to the limits where I can take myself. So I don't think your gender roles, your biological construct or anything should limit you to what you can achieve. I don't think, because if, if it limits, do not have people like Okonjiwala that is, I mean, she's in her own field, she's in her world, and she's in charge of that world. And she's still a woman. I don't, I, I've not heard, read anywhere where she changed her gender or stuff like that. There's also Chima Amanda. One podcast from Chima Amanda can cause a lot of talks online. Yeah. This is one woman doing her stuff. There are also more, a lot of other women, like, there are plenty of them. So I think it's about, it's not just about your gender now, it's about your person, your personality. That's why I would always advise anybody. Develop yourself. Woman, boy, girl. In fact, my plan is, my intention is, when I start having children, after secondary school, there's no need for you to jump into university. Relax. Take one year and go and learn something that will help you personally. Develop yourself because, sadly, our schools are not really, I don't know how to put it, but you come out from school, you still have to go and learn a trade or something. So why are we rushing? Let's develop ourselves. That's what I would say. Develop yourself. Plan yourself. Time me. Like, we used to always tell us, manage your time properly. Manage your time properly is not for man. It's not for woman. It's for everybody. It's for a human being. Take care of your hygiene. It's not for man. It's not for woman. You have a task. Get your task done. It's not for man. It's not for woman. It's for everybody. So whatever you have to do, fit into it. Make use of your time properly. And if you're able to manage your time well, and then take the much you can handle. <laughs> See, yeah, let me put ourselves in the truth. Don't go carry waiting past you because we have the tendency to want to overdo. Who, who you won't prove yourself to? Like, it doesn't make any sense. You go and, you, okay, you're selling a car, you're selling this, you're selling that. At the end of the day, you come back and you're broke. Like, all your, don't be me and you. Let's take it <laughs> gradually. See, this stuff's life is actually a good one. And you can, <laughs> you can, Make impact while living a soft life. I feel like this whole um, multitasking thing is, like, is, first of all, it's very valid, right? I think every human being even needs to learn how to multitask. And there are also things that work better when you build systems and structures for them. So those women now that we are seeing, they are probably in our faces, maybe doing one thing or the other, other and their families are thriving. They probably built a system at home that can run without them, or a system in the office that can run without them. So even if they are at home mothering, the office is still going and thriving, or, or they are in the office, the house is still going and nobody is breaking anybody's head or, or whatever. So I also so feel like we should, the like Professor said, learn your body, learn your own self, like organize your life in a way that, okay, this is when I'll do this, this is when I can afford to do this, let's keep this for maybe next two years, next one year, by then I'll have this, this in place mm, so that they can do that without As women, 
you should set goals for ourselves have a life goal short term long term do you understand so those goals will guide you so at any point in time you are missing track in one okay i think i need to retrace my step here i feel like we should all have personal goals that drive us so that let's say um imagine if you don't have goal at all that means whatever comes what you take you should know okay this is in favor this is not in favor how do i tweak it i totally agree with you let me give you an example when i was in school I, I've always told myself that by 21, I will graduate, I will go for service, oh, by 22, strike. by 23, <laughs> I, I will get a job, I will work for at least one year, and then get married, because I still have everything figured out, like I already mapped my plan, but when I was going, you know, strike <laughs> happened, you know, a lot of things were happening, so what I had to do was to start re-strategizing, you know, trying to like adjust my plan, oh, I told myself, okay, this year, let me do this thing this year, next year I will do this thing, you know, at the end of the day, we, we have to like, know when we should tweak our plan but i'm i'm wondering and you know i know that others are also wondering what we are doing right now our career path is it enough to help us achieve that economic power right like how you are pushing yourself are you just relaxing oh i still have time or oh somebody will come and save me now our career path our goal is it aligned? Is it enough? I think Edna should go first. <laughs> she has to, she has to to her. Her. Is it enough to help us achieve that economic power and become women of influence? Edna, I think we are getting there. <laughs> At least we started, we are doing something, we are pushing. So I feel like currently it's going to take a lot more effort, a lot more planning, a lot more like doing so many things. Right now, with what I'm doing, that economic power is fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's something at least. There's only people that are not doing anything. At least I'm working. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> so I finish now. I have next step. Next step. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so this is what I think, right? I just feel like there's a way in life is. That's why if you watch all these 20s videos, blah, 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 people always saying, no matter how you're feeling, no matter how stressed it is, no matter how confused you are, just make sure you're doing something. So I feel like once you're doing something, it will always lead you to another thing that will lead to another. But then you'll get to a point where you not feel like, okay, I've gotten to where yeah, I, I want to be, or at least I'm in the right space. Do you understand? So as long as you're already on the path, just keep on with it. So um, if if your quest, if um, this is the correct answer to your question, I'm already on the path, and I feel like I'm on the right path. But let's assume I'm not on the right path. Through these parts, we'll get there. Yeah. Okay. So, um, very important thing I would want to point out is that um, life is in stages for me, and um, I believe we have to crawl before we walk, crawl and fly, right? Um, um. So, to answer your question, yes, I'm on the right track. He's on the track because um, I never, I started, I didn't start with managing a team, right? I didn't start with making decisions. I started with learning being told what to do being guided and then i grew and i grew to this level so yes it's on that part and remember again that economic power is not just about the finances it's about being able to make decisions to add value and then one other thing so about financial about being having economic power is having an influence of your own money self so yes i'm in that position where i'm in control of my own money and i can make decisions and i can also impact lives to people i work with whether value financially or otherwise. So yes, I'm on the right path. Shall I go do it? No, we talk of impact, impact, impact. Well, that's if you... It's not very heavy, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> if you so... I break it down. If you so... This See, thing. now that I'm making pull up, I'm making impact. Yes! So, yes. 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 So, you, know, you know, impact can just even be the be next the new me. person who is just a I'm, new beginner I'm giving impact the talk. Now. And you are trying to guide the person to get to your level. You're already making an impact. Do you understand? Yes, yes, I get all that. I get that. It's just, I don't want us to misconstrue what this word yeah. impact, mm -hmm. yeah. right? In your own little space, the way you handle stuff, delivery, you know, we are in the workspace. Your time of delivery is an impact. Put another person through, like our HR said. Is impact. You can even choose that your only part will not be in a workspace. I want it to be your family. When they see your child, you know that mm -hmm. this is the daughter of people. Nanya, because she cannot do nonsense. Yeah. No, that kind of thing. 
So for me, am I on the right path? <laughs> you guys have come on a long journey. <laughs> I mean, this is not the first career path I'm I'm in, but you know, I feel like you would not actually know okay. until you take that step. I remember when I wanted to venture into this path. I mean, I got in fact somebody called me like you know, I'm at that, the person is like, I'm, I'm that place where I'm earning, I've seen life, you know, I'm, I'm also in tech, but I'm also having this job and stuff like that. You shouldn't leave your job, you should, I was working, I was actually earning, life was becoming comfortable, make an online, life was becoming comfortable, and if I wanted to grow that part, I, I started, I was already having ideas on how to grow that part, but is it what I wanted? So I think that's the most important thing. It's not exactly is this thing the best thing. At, the, at that point where you are, is it the best thing for you? <clears throat> because I read there's this book, I've forgotten the author of the this thing, but something around um, doing it afraid or no, don't stop blaming yourself that at this point, the decision you made yesterday was the best you could make at that point because you according to the knowledge you had then the information you have the environment your feel everything at that point that decision was the best thing so if tomorrow i decide that i'm on video editing i want to they cause people video today hear them speak nonsense for my ear it don't tire me and i want to switch up it's still my choice right so like much rightly said it may not be the end point it may not lead to the end point like it may not be directly connected to the end point, but no, no, when they say no knowledge is a waste, no one is a waste because even from the knowledge I had from that previous career, I, 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 there are times when it helps me in this current career. So, where you are, the point, the most important thing for me, I would always tell anybody, I watched it in one cartoon like that where they said, Keep moving forward. If anybody uh -huh. remembers that cartoon, yes, yes, like yes, it just yes. since that point, I have picked it up. And the best way, if you call me anywhere. What is your quote? What's your best quote? I say, keep moving forward. Shit will happen. Nonsense will happen. Plenty of things will happen. You will make choices. You will change your decision. You will hate. You will like this thing today. You hate it tomorrow. Be free to change. To change where you are, but keep moving forward. That is what will determine where you will get to, how you will get there, and all those things. So you just have to keep moving forward. I believe the universe. Because when I was there, I wasn't putting my mind here. I didn't know that this place existed. And guess what? Where I was working is not it's not even up to 200 naira drive to this place. And I never knew here existed. Why? Because I wasn't putting my mind there. But the day I told myself I want to switch up my career, this is the part where I want to go. I saw a view. I literally saw the people that had been there. <laughs> that was the day I saw it. That was the day I saw a view board. And then I went... For it and that viewboard is actually what led me to Crips TV because when I met the person that had the viewboard, the person at some point started giving up one kind of thing. Then I remember, wait, though, I have this NYC contact, you know. I now called my friend, I said, Guys, see what is at the face, though. And the guy was like, Ah, just call this person. Immediately, I called the person, the person was working here, Jerry or something. I shot, shout out to Jerry or something. So I called Jerry. And she was like, oh no, fine, it's okay, just come to this. Like, in my life, I'm like, how are you even that nice? Like, mm -hmm. I'm bothering you. I'm, I, I feel like it's a bother sometimes when you call somebody and they are doing something mm -hmm. and you just call them out of the blue to question them and bother their life with solution to your own problem. But he answered well. So that whole feeling even made me feel like, oh, that means working here will not be a bad idea. Oh, that means that. It's just... So it was, wasn't Chris TV billboard. But it was the reception of the guy that worked at Crips TV that brought me in. Like I said previously, I know that we are not where we want to be yet. But how does it feel to you know have money to solve your problem? Ah, are you, are you asking? You <laughs> <money? Yes. laughs> Let me tell you the truth. I don't want to solve my problems again. <laughs> Somebody should come and solve it for me. On some days, I don't want to spend my money. In fact, recently, I'm tired of spending my money. <laughs> it's not sweet. They lie. They lie to me. <laughs> Let me tell you how it feels. It feels like pay. Toilet. Toto. <laughs> Get somebody to pay your bills, okay? Her money, her power. It feels nice, Some people don't have the opportunity. Some girls don't. They can't 
Let's use fat. Fat. Mm. fat. Mm. fat. Mm. 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 Like fat. Mm. Mm. Not fat. Like yeah. Everything. You are so mad. It's not nice. Any day you misbehave, then we lock your outside. You know, go get it. It's better you have your money. Now that you say it that way. Imagine when you spice about this thing on the road and you don't even you have to start calling somebody. <laughs> Chance to choose the kind oh, of toy yeah. I wanted. Each 
it's so true. Smart, so still your body. It's still in my body. <laughs> like, <laughs> why you're talking? <laughs> I that can. No, I can, and it's no longer uh, your toy is our toy kind of yeah. thing. You know, everybody now respected like, that you, it is no, my no, toy, no. my money. See, let's let them for the first time. This reminded yeah. me of something I got my first job. That I was working at the mine. At the end of the month, they paid me for everything. <laughs> <laughs> After carrying babies and cleaning, oh god, they paid me. I was very happy then. I took it to my mom, I showed my mom that I got 5k and stuff, and she just laughed at me. What do they pay you in cash? They give me cash, they can't pay the money. It would have been weird if they sent you that 5k to your account. Okay, so I have an experience to share. It's, it's not a funny one or a sweet talk, but it was something that annoyed me to know that, okay, it is time for you to be independent. It's time for you to start spending for yourself. It's time for you to like start working hard and gain a skill set and or, or improve on what you are doing. So um so I was opportune to start working with the day I left school even before going into service. And I mean my salary then I felt just for me to transport myself and take care of myself. So I was just spending it. I didn't have any saving plan or anything. And then service came and I'm telling my family, Oh, it's time for service, I need money, pocket money to do service. They then said, have you not been working? What happened to the money that you've been paid since? They said, ah, it's finished all day. It's no good money. <laughs> so that was the point it dawned on me that Judith, you are done with school, you graduate. I think at this point in time, you now owe your family. You don't owe you anymore. So that was, but in as much as they still gave me pocket money to go to camp, but it was an eye opener that Judith, it's time for you to start spending for yourself. Then now, since I now learned saving practice from them, during my NYCA, I didn't spend the allowing. I was saving it. Do you understand? But the sad story about it is that after saving my <laughs> NYC money, ah, that time was when investment was fooling everywhere. Investing this in you see, I mean, you see different stuff. And then I now actually now took the savings from my ah. NYC oh my and invested. Oh, hey. in which one? Only my cycle will be MMM. <laughs> I, 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 it's funny enough, the, the, it was from a colleague I was working with. I respect <laughs> one I respect so much, right? And oh, they, I, I joined the group, I saw, oh, I said, since I know this man, oh, I think it's going to be, it's going to you be something. You put all your money. Why so I put there, I put all the allowance saving. Hey. Hey. But the thing is that I was able to get 50% eventually, okay. but it taught me that, um, <laughs> <laughs> it taught me that before you invest, do proper research, yeah. right? And then when you are saving, have a goal on why you are saving or what yeah, you're to do so you don't misuse or mismanage your very money. Important. So you don't yeah. have goal for saving. You, you eat that money with shower. <laughs> you spend it on shower in the end. So I hope that helps someone. So investment yeah. mustn't be going to invest in a financial yeah, institution. Yeah, yeah, you should be so investing in <laughs> 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 Come on now, it, <laughs> it could be one business idea you have in mind, you can invest the money there. It could be even a cost to develop your skill. 100%. So investment goes, it, it's not just going to financial institutions. That personal investment is a job for you. <laughs> but then, <laughs> the Edna's problems are very different. <laughs> we were talking about investment, she said wig. <laughs> if you buy a wig, wait, oh, if you buy a wig now, if you buy with your 200,000 now, how much will you want in two years? <laughs> I've gone to this year, I saw that big. How much did I say? Big is a investment in it. She's trying to convince you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all of us, we are media queen. I know it has been a journey, you know, watching a Chris TV as, as you know, different, as different areas <laughs> in the industry. A lot of persons have this idea, have this mindset that, Oh, the media space is, is a male dominated industry. Like, we have a lot of males that are videographers, video editors, you know, and, and all of that. But now we have, we are seated here with queens, you know, doing these things. So, how does it feel, you know, entering this industry and breaking records in this industry? How does it feel being a videographer, being a video editor, a presenter, and all of this? And you know, really yourself that you're doing so well. How does it feel, you know, working at Crips TV and doing all of this amazing stuff? <coughs> To be honest, I don't even notice that I'm a girl and I'm in this space. Like, I just feel like I'm a human being in this space. Do you understand? But then I get reminded by some things that happen. Maybe trying to get the shots and one man is coming to shift over with this. Exactly. <laughs> Do you understand? I, so there are things that happen and I get reminded. Maybe I'm talking to a client and asking me 
If you Google, what I would say is that you should just don't put it at don't put it in your head that you're a woman in a male dominated space. Just do your thing. There's, do you nothing, understand? Like there's, there's nothing like yeah, space. I don't feel like that's what we should even stop doing. Like there's nothing like male dominated space. Just do what you love, just be doing your this thing, carry your obviously some insults might come every now and then. Just handle them as well as you can. Do you understand? Please, with also not. also with points and grace. Not if they do, you do. Because you're a woman, don't be stupid like them. Do you understand? <laughs> <laughs> yes, now because the people that do this thing actually like <clears throat> to me it's tough behavior to like do that kind of thing to to somebody. But yeah, just don't put it in your head that okay, I'm here now. It's a male dominated and space. I'm here to fight okay, everybody. I'm here to fight them for their hair. Because it's going to make your response to be somehow you're also not too going to focus on what you're supposed to do. You'll be trying to prove something to people and all of that. So that's just it, like I said. Just do your thing. Be the best you can because you are a human being that is doing something that human beings can do. Not because you're a woman or anything. Yes. Right. Somebody actually said something innocent. See, today, people still think I'm the one that's something innocent. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm a team is a female dominated yes, space. I'm a team, but he's a guy. I'm a lady. So where is the misunderstanding coming from? Like, they, they feel like it's so the, 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 they think he's the one that is in the media the space. Media space and she's the nurse. If they ask my mom, your children, what do they do? I say, oh, the other one is a nurse. The other one she's into media, and the other one is in school. They be like, oh, the lady is a nurse. I think it's just like, they just uh, say it's my fault. We can't judge them. I'm, actually, somebody <laughs> actually told my younger sister that I'm making the wrong decision by deciding to go into videography and video editing because I'm a woman. Like that I will not have time for my family. It's the wrong field for me. Like the way the mom sounded. And then thought of quitting. It was my mom that said, "Hey, now nobody chose your career for you. So why are you not being ashamed? You decided to go with it. Go with it. I'm not the side. So if you decide to quit, quit. So <laughs> I'm already doing it, and I enjoyed it." It was later on that my mom was like, okay, let's say this is not what you enjoy doing. I would advise you to quit. But it's not as if you don't enjoy doing it. You enjoy doing this. So why quit? Because they're telling you it's a long time. I was like, okay, I don't even think you don't it understand because you don't feel it. I didn't even know. You know no, it like, was when I came into this industry that I started here seeing and learning about females that are into this. I do not have a friend back in school that was into video editing. See, so when I decided to go into video editing, I didn't know that that girl was into video editing. And she was I, my lord mate. I think the men just got into it first. Not like he's a male dominated because yeah. there's no restriction. If you want to learn that you can do it, you come in and do it. That, I think that, or maybe that's, or maybe that's just script TV feeling. I saw a lady mechanic the other day. I've seen the female bus driver. I've seen two in the local here. There's even a female bus conductor. Just that sometimes some of this work don't, you know, help. Yes, it's it's not strenuous. It's strenuous. Because actually, have you seen a female bus conductor that acts like a female? Yes, that's the thing. It's it's strenuous. Some of these jobs that we say that male dominated, let's just be very clear. Some of them are strenuous, and if given the opportunity, we would not we choose, choose to, to be there, <laughs> right? So, but if you feel like I can be a mechanic and I can handle, it's not about going to school studying mechanical I'm engineering. Or, <laughs> like, I'm not talking about being a mechanical engineer by certificate. I'm talking about actually doing mechanic so work, being doing all the mechanical work. If you feel like it's something you can do. By all means, if you feel like you can maintain your C's and boys and everything and, and you know, screw the, you know, what, what was it called? Everything. Like After the job, you pick up your C's. You can, you, <laughs> you can do that. You can do that. Honestly, yeah, I don't feel, I don't, I don't, I never, I don't think I ever felt videography was a master. I just feel like people are doing that, are doing that people that know how to do it. That's what I felt. So when I came in and I had what I wanted to them, it was after I, like, I had finished my training that somebody said to me that, you know, when you when I introduced myself in a group, you know this was a group, my name is Chigos Dream Gemma. I will introduce myself as Chigos Dream Gemma, an emotional designer and this and that. Next thing, when somebody chats me up, first is talking to me as he. And I'm like, yeah. is it because of my name or is it because of the... The, the tag or the job yeah. guinea. Okay. Sorry, I mean, when you now say, when you now introduce yourself, I maybe when you are talking, or maybe there's a reason to send a voice on that person, like, Jesus, I don't know you're a lady. So, and that, 
Ah, you need in this field. Wow. Even one time I tried when I went to Lagos sometime this year. When somebody I was like, person met me, you know, what's it called? Um, networking, right? We are just kind of us and like when you said you're emotional designer, like I was marvelled. There are not many women in this field. I was like, really? I never knew. So it's for me, it's just people that know how to do it that are doing it. That's basically and, what and it it's is. also for people to know that oh, it's not always about makeup artists. There are lots of no, yeah, there are lots of things, of things you can get into. Can get into it must not be a makeup artist or a fashion designer yeah. or tailor or seamstress. Yeah, you can be a both. That's, that's the only thing. Or, or hairstylist. Like, Why is that or, for him? <laughs> <laughs> you can even. <laughs> This is do printing, <laughs> right? You what can do printing. As a lady, you can go into printing. I know one of the places I've been to a printing house before. If they had not started behaving weirdly, I would have currently be doing printing job now. For me, it's the knowledge, who has the skill? And who is willing to learn? And who is willing to learn it? It's not, it doesn't have anything to do with your physical construct. Mm -hmm. Then if you come into the media space, and you feel like you cannot carry some heavy things, then just focus on the ones you can do. If you feel you can carry the gimbal and you can carry the crane, and by all means, we are welcoming you at Crips TV. We are we we don't we don't do sex. Uh, we are you are female, you are male. Yeah. No, no, we don't do that. If you want, if you feel like a woman and you can carry the crane, please rush us. We want you. If you feel like you're a woman and you can carry the gimbal you can use the camera and teach the males how it is done please come we welcome you it's not a, it's not about gender roles or physical constructs it's if you can do it we are, we are welcome hmm. we've heard it thank you very much if you are still confused on the career path you want to follow or you, have, you don't have it figured out yet you can actually you know look into the media space there are lots of opportunities for you. You can be a photographer, video yes, photographer, lots of things you can do. And we space. have trainings for you. <laughs> of course. Yes. We have we have inspire where we teach um, young people of any anything you want to learn in the media space, you want to learn video editing, photographer, motion design, you are welcome Broadcast to engineering, learn. Engineering, photography, yeah, videography, content air content creation, just name it. Anything that has to do with media. Whatever comes to your mind when you think of media, Inspire got you covered. Okay, okay, so the last, the last but not the least question. So when we finally make this money that we are working so hard day and night, we are hustling, you know? But, What's that thing that you've been wanting to do, but because you don't have enough? So when you finally like blow, what are you doing first to your money? Ah, enjoy my money. <laughs> I'll make more money. <laughs> Actually, you know, I think, because what I wanted to say now, I make more money. What I to say now, reward my parents. Now I'm thinking about since it's blowing, I think we can do two of them. So I'll reward my parents and I enjoy myself. Probably take myself to like a country that I've always wanted to go like to. I'm and then, yes, ah, and I was like, I'm going to look, look at this that 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 that. of your parents, even with the little that you have, right? So I'm um, blowing up. You have to. Yeah, to actually. Yourself. I think I'll just do enjoy all the things that I've always wanted to do. Right? Yes, and I'll just look at them like, don't worry, soon. 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 See. I'll just check Pinterest and see super. I'll be saving this. The first thing I'll Screenshot do. Screenshot plenty. Eh? The first thing I'll do. There's this kind of delicacy. Where if you, if you chop her, you just come back. No, when you just put this, it's like, mmm. Tastes like money. That kind of thing. <laughs> Tastes like money, exactly. I'll feed myself. Edna, Edna, what are you going to do? Probably. So people are thinking of blue, like you're coming from Port of Blue. <laughs> no, right. you're probably already so weird. Blue it's is just weird. like extreme. So you probably already have a car. Immediately. That's the key word there. The key word is immediately. Immediately, that time, that time. Yeah. Uh, other, first of all, other day is this side. Like, this Samsung. <laughs> Big. You know those kind of very now. materialistic. <laughs> in case you are eyeing this girl, very material girl. <laughs> no, very material. Before then, I would have already solved all our problems. Like that. Actually, I, actually, 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 I would have rewarded my parents. parents. And there's nothing wrong with that. Send over the seeds abroad. If you okay. would, what are you talking about? Uh -huh. When there's money, things are moving. Mm. I won't even send them where I have. Okay, I 
I have something to add. I want to know um, for me to be to achieve everything on my perfect list. But primarily, mm-hmm. it's important to like enjoy yourself. Like no matter you work exactly. so hard to get there. Eat. So that vacation yeah. you want to go for, mm-hmm. go for it. That course for you want to take, take it. Mm-hmm. You know, that car you want to buy, buy it. Do you understand? That's so for me, it will be achieving everything on my bucket list. And that includes relaxing and going on vacation. So just, first of all, eat good effects. Calm more down. More eat and invest. calm yourself yeah, down. Yeah. Then you now plan because how <laughs> I tell you to say, don't get the money. If you just call that, just eat first. Make your brain. You feel hammer now, eh? All this your trip, the money don't, everything don't come out for you. Don't spend Actually, spend, 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 spend. Like, very, it's like yeah. Among is very like breeze. So that's why it's important to do those things on your bucket list that you've not done. Mm-hmm. You know, whether it's to invest it, to um, take a course, you know, to so whatever yeah, is on the bucket list. For instance, maybe See. you want to, maybe you want to um, do PhD, right? But you don't have the finances yet. How do we get to PhD? <laughs> <laughs> It will not be! It is in your goal. It is in your goal to achieve that. Whatever is in your goal. It could be to set up a business, to open a company of your own. You know, whatever is in your goal. Actually, the actual thing I would do is find a place where I will put the money to get more money. That could be a business. It must be a business. I could invest in between this successful business. So, you know, my get business my business own business. share. <laughs> at no, 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 she's, not, she's not the one running the business. She's just giving you exactly. money. Exactly. She's I'm investing in my business. Yeah, it could be investment. And I, so it's I'll investment. Get, I I'll have percentage now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, that's the whole point. <laughs> that's what I'm telling you now. The point is that you invest the money to make more money. Yes, yes. yes. So, when I finally get the money, okay, I'm going to, of course, make go yourself to China it. and... Um, make yourself a Chinese doll. <laughs> okay, one of my one of my biggest dreams is to go to China and learn their language, their culture, everything about them, and wow. build business relationship with them, and uh, you know fix myself in every aspect of their 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 culture and everything. So that's my biggest dream. And once I get that money, fear I've left. <laughs> I hear some people's dreams. That's one of my dreams. <laughs> Incredible conversation, so much so laughter, nice. so much laughter, so much joy, so much insight, so much you know, power. so much power. We've learned a lot today and we've had fun, we've laughed. So, if you're still confused on how to go about achieving this economic power and becoming financial independent, there are lots of things you can do as a woman. Don't limit yourself, don't think you cannot do it, you can do it. And I want to remind you that economic power is not just about the money, it's about security, it's about freedom, it's about your ability to shape your own future right so to every woman out there go out there take charge invest in yourself and remember your money is your power